Hello and welcome to Functional Skills Maths Level 1. In this session, we'll be looking at using numbers and the number system, specifically reading, writing, ordering and comparing decimals up to three decimal places. Decimals are numbers which contain a decimal point. For example, 0.4 and 1.6. Decimals are used to show the numbers that are in between whole numbers. The number 3.89 is smaller than the number 4. The number 2.5 is exactly halfway between the numbers 2 and 3. The number 1.256 is slightly bigger than 1.25. The first digit after a decimal point shows tenths, the second digit shows hundredths, and the third digit shows thousandths. A number line can be used to show decimals. And here's an example of one. First arrow there shows 0.4. Now it's worth noting that you should read this as 0 0.95 and not 0 0.95. So let's look at how to put decimals in order. You might be asked to arrange a list of decimals in order of size. For example, put the following decimals in order of size from smallest to largest. 1.6, 0 0.65, 0 0.658, and 0 0.068. The first step is to put all the numbers into a column, ensuring that you line up the decimal points. The second step is to look at the number before the decimal point and arrange from smallest to largest. And if any of the digits are the same, move on to the digits after the decimal point and arrange from smallest to largest. So here we can see that 1.6 is the largest, 0.658 is slightly bigger than 0.65, and 0.068 is the smallest. Which number is larger? 1.356 or 1.456? So follow the steps we've been shown to place the decimals into a column. The number before the decimal is the same, so look at the number after the decimal. And the 4 is larger than the 3, so the answer is 1.456. You may be asked to place measurements or weights in order. So place the following weights in order of size from smallest to largest. 0.53 kilograms, 6.203 kilograms, 0.4 kilograms, and 0.402 kilograms. We follow the same steps to find the answer. So looking at all of those, we can see that 6.203 kilograms is the only one bigger than the number one. So that would go first. Now let's look at the second digit. And we have a 5, we have a 2, we have a 4, and we have a 4. So the 5 being the largest digit, 0 0.53 kilograms is the second largest number. Now we have two numbers where the first digit after the decimal point is the same. 0 0.402 is the only one with anything after the 4, so that is the next largest number. And finally, 0 0.4 kilograms is the smallest. Which number is larger? 1.35 meters, 140.5 centimeters, 2.4 meters, or 137.5 centimeters? Now, firstly, we need to convert all measurements to the same unit, either meters or centimeters, for example. So 135 centimeters, 140.5 centimeters, 240 centimeters, and 137.5 centimeters. And all we've done there is the ones that have been set up in meters, we've multiplied by 100 to get centimeters. Then follow the same steps we've been shown to place the decimals into a column. This allows you to see order with ease. 
so 135 centimeters, 137.5 centimeters, 140.5 centimeters, and 240 centimeters. The largest is 240 centimeters, but we need to remember to convert it back to its original form, which is 2.4 meters, and all we did there was divide by 100. You may be asked to place measurements or weights in order from smallest to largest, as well as the reverse, largest to smallest. Which number is smaller? 16.504, 16.504, Five point six four zero and five point six zero four. Again, follow the same steps as previous. Firstly, place in the numbers into a column. You can then order and identify the smallest with ease. Five point six zero four, five point six four zero. 16.504 and 16.540. The smallest decimal is 5.604. So here is an example exam question. Write these numbers in order from smallest to largest. So what I'd like you to do is pause the video, have a go at the question and press play when you're ready to see the answer. Did you get it right? So all we've done here is make sure that the numbers are in columns and then it becomes easy to compare. Here's another example exam question. Calculate 7.26 divided by 24.2. So again, pause the video, have a go at the question, and press play when you're ready to compare answers. Did you get it right? The answer is 0 0.3, but let's see how we come to that answer with the workings out. First step is to write the division as a fraction. So 7.26 over 24.2. We then need to Multiply the numerator, which is the top number, and the denominator by 10 until the denominator, which is the bottom number, is no longer a decimal. So 7.26 times 10 equals 72.6, and 24.2 times 10 is 242. So we're okay with that. Now, using the bus stop method, we need to calculate 72.6 divided by 242. So firstly, how many times does 242 divide into seven? Well, that's obviously zero, um, but now we have a remainder of seven. So now we need to think about how many times does 242 divide into 72? Well, that's also obviously zero. And now we have a remainder of 72. So now we need to think about how many times 242 divides into 726. Now, it obviously goes into one time. And if we did a rough estimate, we can see that it'll go in twice because 242 times two is less than 500. But does 242 divide exactly into 726 three times? Well, to find that out, we need to do a bit of multiplication. So 242 times 3. Well, 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 4 is 12. Carry the 1. And 3 times 2 is also 6. Adding the 1 is 7. So 242 exactly divides into 726 three times. Let's put the decimal point back in. And it's 0, 0, 0.3, or in other words, 0 0.3. So let's recap. Decimals are numbers which contain a decimal point. For example, 0 0.4 and 
Decimals are used to show the numbers that are in between whole numbers. The number 3.89 is smaller than the number 4. The number 2.5 is exactly halfway between the numbers 2 and 3. And the number 1.256 is slightly bigger than 1.25. The first digit after a decimal point shows tenths, the second digit shows hundredths, and the third digit shows thousandths. A number line or scale can be used to show decimals. And remember, we need to read 0 0.95, not 0 0.95. You may be asked to arrange a list of decimals in order of size. For example, put the following decimals in order of size from smallest to largest. Remember the first step is putting the numbers into a column and showing you line up the decimal points. The second step is to look for the number before the decimal point and arrange from smallest to largest. And the third step is if any of the digits are the same, move on to the digits after the decimal point and arrange from smallest to largest. Which number is larger, 1.356 or 1.456? Follow the steps you've been shown to place the decimals into a column and you end up looking like this. And it's quite clear from the digit after the decimal point that 1.456 is larger. Thanks for participating and I'll see you on the next session.